everyone and welcome back to another fashion friday's outfit of the day excited to be sharing another look with you guys i absolutely love these days i love fashion if you got a chance or if not if you're new to my channel i did do a tour of this place and showed my particular room that is designed just for me because i have shoes and purses and jewelry and tons of clothes and hats and i just I love fashion. Loved it since I was very little. I remember my mom telling me she would get up many nights, two, three o'clock in the morning, I'd be dancing in the kitchen with her apron on. And I was very young then, and I've always loved fashion. Always been very girly. So I love putting pieces together. I love showing you guys different looks. And I also love going from something so elegant all the way down to something like um, a sport look because nobody is the same. Everybody likes things different. So I like to share different looks with you guys. And it's always so fun just to put something together and show you guys how things can look so great you know now this one here is uh, a classy but more casual because it's done with leggings um, but more on the classy side since it's more of a blouse that I'm wearing and I will go over that with you but of course I want to read my Bible verse first for you guys um, I'm gonna read James 1 2 through 4 and I'm trying to find more inspirational Bible verses and this is on faith and I, I talk about that a lot okay Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials and many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces preference, let preference finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. What a beautiful Bible verse. And it is true. We are going to go through trials and tribulations as a christian we are going to be tested we are god is going to test our faith to see how much he can lay on us and how much we will take you know um consider it pure joy my brothers and sisters whenever you face trials of many kinds because we will face all different kinds of trials and god is going to test us and see how much you know we will continue to to walk with the good Lord. You know, God loved us so much that he sent his only son to die for us so that we could have eternal life. Um, when we leave this, you know, this world that we don't die, we have our, you know, earthly body and then we have our spiritual body in heaven, um, walking streets of gold. And if you're not a Christian, then you will burn for eternity in hell is what they claim and what they say and what the Bible says. And I certainly don't want to go to a place like that. Uh, the devil will make you, you know, believe that it's so much better to walk with him. But who wants to live eternity burning, right? I want to live, you know, here with maybe some trials and tribulation and hard times here on earth but walk streets of gold when it's all done and be able to be a testimony to people of, you know, things that even I go through. You know, nobody lives a perfect life and that's why God sent his son because we're not perfect. So he took on the sins of the world for us. You know, um, as long as you live the best that you can believe in God, God, you know, that's why he had him die so that we could have eternal life. And, you know, just we're going to be tested. You know, I've been tested many times in my life, been through hard, hard times lost my dad at a very young age. He was very young when he died. I was very young when he died. Um, my uh, son, you know, having to raise my son on my own, his dad was never in the picture. And then he passed away last year, I believe. Um, you know, just having to do that and then developing a heart condition immediately after I had him. So being told I would never have any more and I could barely take care of him in the beginning. I had the heart of an 83 year old, you know, tested me with that to see how much I would, you know, accept. Uh, being told I would never bear any more children, having to have my tubes tied at a young age and young age and all of that. And, you know, things I go through, like I tell you guys, for 21 years, I've suffered with heart palpitations and Every doctor I've seen, cardiologist, all of them have had me wear monitors and they keep laughing saying it's extra heartbeats, it's genetics, it's just something you're going to go through and because you have anxiety, you cause more to come on. 
And many times do I pray to God, you know, please God help me with it so I don't have them. I'll say, you know, put my hand on my heart and I'll pray uh, to have a good day. You know, I play, you know, I'll say, I pray by the stripes and blood of Jesus that I won't have any. And many days go through, I won't have any. And then all of a sudden I'll get them on days that I've prayed and I'll get them. But I never lose that faith. I drop to my knees and I'll pray. And I, you know, I don't know why I get scared because I've had them for 21 years, been told by many doctors and, and, uh, cardiologist and all that heart doctors and all that telling me it's nothing. It's nothing. We've seen it. We see you get lots of them. It's nothing. It's just extra heartbeats and you're adding more when you get scared. But, um, they, you know, they never worry about it turning to e-fibrillation or none of that. You know, I always worry about that, but they said, no, it's just family genetic. Your whole family gets it. So it's just something we deal with. Could be extra air pockets, they said, from eating too quickly or, you know, uh, getting scared and ingesting air, you know, things like that. Just all kinds of stuff or just my mom went through it when she went through her premenopausal. I am 44 years of age, so that's about the age she was when she started to go through premenopausal, and she was getting a lot of them. Could be why I go through them. They said the electrodes in the heart are different during that time. But again, just something I go through, and I'm constantly saying, God, I hate these. Please take them away. They're scary. I don't like them. But here I am 21 years later, still alive and still going strong, and I'm fine. And I've never ended up in the hospital with them. Everything's been fine. Uh, knock on wood. If there's some wood here. <laughs> Here we go. Knock on wood. We don't want to say something and then be jinxed. Um, but yeah, you know, just the, the testing of the faith that God will put you through. I've been through a lot. I've been tested a lot and been through some hard relationships. And here I am today still loving the Lord and still living for him. And yeah, I've had my days that I've questioned God on things. But, um, you know, we will. We're, we're human. We're definitely going to go through that. But one day God's going to question all the things that we've done wrong too. And I'm sure there's a lot he's got to talk to me about because I've done some things in my life too that I wasn't proud of when I was younger and stuff. But anyways, yeah, just live your life good and know that you will go through trials and tribulations and know that you'll come out, like it says in the end, um, uh, not lacking anything, you know, because God is always there and always helping you. So just remember that. That's John 1. Uh, yeah, John first, or I'm not, I'm sorry, I'm saying John. James 1, 2 through 4. Beautiful Bible verse. Always keep God with you. Always keep the good word with you. And always read the good word of God and preach it. Preach it to the world. Because that's what we need to do as Christians. We need to spread the good word of God. All right. On to this outfit of the day. I did that beautiful set of sponged white tipped nails with the gold and then that accent nail. And I did it with a all kind of creamy color outfit, okay? I did it with leggings. Now, the top here, I'm going to stand up and show you everything. The top here is a blouse I got from Just, and I'll stand up and show you. This is a blouse. It did not come with this belt. I belted it. It's just a flowy white uh, blouse. This is a size small. So proud of myself. I can't believe I could say a small, and a small is actually big on me. That's unbelievable. And I think I can probably show you the tag here. I like to show that off so people know that I'm not lying. See? Is that right? There's the S right there, size small. <laughs> so you can see that I am not, I'm that I am pretty tiny. I'm five foot three and a half or five foot three, and I'm wearing a size small. But you can see, I mean, look at the the amount I still have in this beautiful blouse that I'm wearing. So, all right. And then I paired it with this belt. This was from Just. The belt is also from Just. A beautiful uh, light brown. I went with light brown colors. I wanted the light brown in it. And that's why I did that on the nails. And did a little bit of dark too, just so that you could see the contrast. And then did the gold in it. And um, absolutely love this belt. Like I said, I got this from Just. And Just is out of business. And that's where I got the blouse from too. Now the blouse is a see-through. It's got the beautiful uh, shoestring ties here. And I did do a white tank under it. I got these tanks from Walmart. They're $1.66. Run out and grab a ton of them because it's always nice to layer things. And I love Walmart. I have every color in a tank, I believe. So I just did a white tank under it. And this blouse is a creamy white. That's what it is. It's more... Um, it's not bright white. It's not the stark white. It is a creamy white. And then I was looking for leggings, and I couldn't find any in a tan, in a brown, in a cream color at Walmart. So I went over to Target to look, and I couldn't find any of it at Target either, except for I went into the children's department, and I found a pair of cream leggings, and I was so excited. These are kid leggings, you guys. I can fit into a child's leggings. And... Um, could it was in the kids department because it went from like um i don't remember the size like 
extra small up to like large, I believe. So, but it was in the kids section, could be a junior's, I'm not sure. But anyways, yeah, I couldn't believe I could wear a child's pair of leggings and they got the glitter running through it. I hope you can see that. I'll get up close. Maybe you can see it as I move it around. I hope you can see that. It's got pieces of glitter in it and that's how you know they're kid ones, but they're just so adorable how it's got the sparkle in it and it was the same color exactly what I needed and fit perfect. Uh, the waistband is right up to here. As you can see, there's the waistband in them and they're nice and long and perfect at the bottom. And I just, I really hope you can see that glitter in it. I hope you can see that because you don't really see it in the video, but hopefully you can see that. See that sparkle right there? Yeah, they sparkle, it's kind of cute. Um, but yeah, I'm wearing kids leggings. I was able to shop in the kids department for a pair of leggings. And I just thought I would keep everything done in the creamy white. Um, <clears throat> they don't do a lot of white in the winter because white really isn't a winter color, so. It, this is a creamy white, and that's why I did the nails sponging so it wouldn't be a stark white. I didn't want a stark white. I wanted it to be more of that cream color and wanted to pair everything with uh, light brown. So that's what I did, like the light brown and golds. All right, so that's what I'm wearing there. So it was just, just is the blouse, tank is Walmart, and the pants I just got two days ago at Target in the children's section. <laughs> Sounds funny to say that. I'm 44 years of age, and I'm wearing a child's pair of leggings. <laughs> Um, but anyways, so that's what I did. And I would, like I said, I was going with more of a classy, but casual look, uh, comfy look like that, but keep it, you know, classy. Now I can make this even more classy by adding like a skirt with this blouse, or you could make it, you know, like I did with the leggings, or you could do it with jeans, however you wanted to wear it. I want it to be, um, more casual, comfy, but classy. So I kept it more on the classy side too. I like it, you know, to, uh, show that you can make something either dressed up or dressed down. This definitely probably couldn't be dressed down too much because it is a blouse, but I suppose you could wear it with like a, you know, in the summer, maybe you could wear it with a pair of jean shorts, a jean skirt, you know, so it wouldn't have to be so dressed up. But I did it with leggings, so it's not as dressed up. <clears throat> but I did have it a little bit more dressy, um, having the jewelry and stuff with it and the belt and all that. So I love the look. Love the, the way the nails turned out and love the look of this. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> We have got tons of snow. If you've seen in that video I did last week for Fashion Friday, I showed you all that snow. Well, we got even more. So I did a video outside for you guys today. When I did my catwalk, I did one outside. It's still snowing here, so you guys get to see it. But it was warm. It was like 40 degrees. And I know you guys are going to say again, 40 degrees, that's cold. Not a true Minnesotan because we get really cold. I mean, we get 60 below in the wintertime. So, you know, with a wind chill, it can be as cold as 60 below. So to have 40 degrees, it felt great. So I did a catwalk outside for you guys to show you, and it was actually snowing a little bit out there then too. So you guys get to see the snow. But um, anyways, uh, had a lot of fun and, you know, love sharing this look with you guys. And so, like I said, I did that uh, walk outside and then of course in a building I can't wait for spring to come but <clears throat> what I was leading to is this is why I keep clearing my throat is because the warm weather like that the change the warm to the cold like that causes my allergies to act up <clears throat> I am not sick it's just allergies so uh, bear with me if I have to keep clearing my throat. I'm sorry about that. I've been taking my allergy med, but just started it again, so it takes time to kick in. So, all right, so that's the outfit, and I accented everything with gold and brown, like I said. Now, these earrings, I got these, uh, another piece that my mom got me for Christmas. These beautiful, beautiful gold earrings. Look at how long and gorgeous these are, and the wave to them, and how they just sparkle, and how they, you know, just make the noise and the jingle jangle. And I just, I love them. I love how they layer going down like that and how it gives it that spiral look, almost like a slinky. If you remember when you kid those slinkies, that's what it reminds me of, but beautiful gold earrings. And I thought I'm going to keep it with just the gold earrings, no necklace because I had a gold necklace on. And actually I'll show that to you um, that I just happened to have, uh, but I didn't do it because see, it's the same color and it looked great, but it was just too much. If you look, it's just too much. When you have the earrings on with it, it almost takes away from the earrings. And my husband agreed with me as I was getting ready to do the catwalk. I said, I shouldn't really be wearing this necklace, should I? It's like just too much. So sometimes less is more. So I took it off and I went with just, and this I just got, um, I believe at Charming Charlie's or our Charlotte Roos, can't remember. I think it was Charlotte Roos. Uh, but anyways, less is more. So I just kept it with just the gold earrings like that because I have bracelets on and a ring. So I thought I still got enough jewelry going on. So we won't do a, a necklace, especially with this. I wanted this to show. And um, as you see, I've got the hair in a ponytail. I thought, you know what? I wanna keep it cute because it's just casual and fun and comfy. So let's be comfy and have just a ponytail. So I got the big, uh, 
you know, I have naturally curly hair, but I did um, do the hot roll, so it was kind of more the beach curl like I've been doing lately. I like that look because I got kind of got like frizzy curly hair, so I like to curl it and give more of that beach look. And then I just did it in a ponytail. As you see, I just have it in a ponytail, not a high ponytail, just a regular ponytail to keep it more just, like I said, just casual and and still classy because even you know you can wear a suit and be classy in a ponytail so i thought a ponytail would be cute and i haven't done a ponytail for a while so i did a ponytail for you guys and um just you know have the bangs down and i just have a scrunchie in if i can show it to you holding it you know or holding it um holding the hair up it's that tan color i just got a tan color scrunchie i got from five below a pack the other day because i needed that tan color so i got a tan one it came with like a black a burgundy a blue and this one here so that's what i have holding you know my ponytail in so all right and then um like i said the earrings were my mom got in i believe it was burlington coat factory where she got them i'll have to ask her but i think that's where she got all the pieces for me so yeah beautiful gold drop earrings and they were just so big that we kept it simple without adding a chain it's just beautiful maybe a thin little chain would have been okay but i liked it just like that because i wanted this to show and then the bracelets i'm wearing i got um this one from charming charlie's i've showed it to you guys before it's got the glitter on one side the stones on the other it just opens up like that and you know closes shut and then these ones here were from dollar general and i wore them two weeks ago i believe in a video and they're just sparkly in some and some are just gold twisty bangles and I thought I would do that and then the ring I think I've showed you that before I also got from Charming Charlie's so these are, are a dollar general this was Charming Charlie's and this was Charming Charlie's it's a stretch ring and it's done in that bronzy you know light brown so I thought that would be perfect to go with this look and it looks so good with that ring there or the accent now looks it matches so good with that so that's what i did there and i thought just keep it that's it for jewelry we won't add any more and then this side of course i just have my wedding ring my strength ring and my heartbeat ring so i always just switch it over there but that is the outfit and the jewelry now we'll go on to the makeup and then the bag and the shoes the eyelashes i'm wearing are from dollar tree and they're called the diva 976 that's the Diva ones I'm wearing, and I did Dolly last week. This week is the Diva. They're a little bit longer and a little bit thicker, and I do have mascara in them. I always put mascara in them, but love them. I love how they are so natural looking. I love the eyelashes from Dollar Tree. Um, the Diva just means they're a little bit more bold. than the, I think they have a bold one, and then they have a Dolly one. So, But yeah, I love these, um, and I can rewear them. I rewear them a few times before I throw them out. But yeah, got the eyelashes on, and then I'll show you the makeup that I'm wearing. I did that, um, I'm doing a white and just tan look on the eyes. So I did that same Maybelline, the vanilla from CVS. And it's just a white, but not a pure white, almost pure white, but it's kind of a creamy white. That is on my eyelid. And then of course I did the um, smoky here and I put a little bit of that tan right here and I'll show you that. Uh, but have the white there and also under my brow for the highlight and inside the eye there. I used all that white there. And then I did the Syrica. And for the Sirica, I use, they don't have any numbers or names for this one, but I use that one right there on that, you know, the smoke, to smoke it out on the, um, under the, above the, <laughs> God, I cannot talk today. I've got my eyelid and then for my smoky to smoke it out right there. And I did it in this lighter color and blended it really good. And I thought it looked pretty. And I added some in the corner there so it goes up a little bit. And it's this one right here. It's a coppery uh, tan brown. That's what I wanted, more of a light brown. So that's what I did there. I'll get close. But I do an open and close eye again in the video so you get to see it. But just kept this, like, again, real simple um, makeup that wasn't too bold because I wanted this to be more of a casual classy. So it didn't go too bold with it. The lip color I'm wearing is called Clarity. It is the LA Colors Duo that I get from Walmart. And it's a beautiful, um, kind of, uh, not really a nude, but kind of like a, um, I don't even want to say orange, maybe a melon, a little bit of a melon color. It's really pretty. And I did wear both this time. I did the top and the bottom, and the bottom was just clear, but of course it's got, after you put this on, the color gets inside the bottle, but it was just a clear and I put it over it so I have a shiny look. And I thought that would be very pretty and it's just called Clarity and just keep it, like I said, just more simple, even though I still have the eyelashes on and everything, just keep a simple eye and a simple lip. And love the way that turned out. And then for the bag and the shoes, the shoes I've wore already in a video, um, I believe once and it was in the summer or the, 
no, in the fall. I'm sorry, not summer. I wouldn't wear boots in the summer. In the fall, I got that boot from um, Deal Smart. Me and my husband go to Deal Smart a lot, and I got a great deal on them. They were like sixty or seventy dollar boots, and I got them for what did I pay for them? Like I can't even remember. Seven bucks, 14 bucks, something like that. And they did get a little bit wet because it is snowing here. I told you I did a little video in there, but it's got the buckle going all the way around and it did get a little bit wet in the back. That's okay, it'll dry. I know it's a suede, you gotta be careful of that, but I'll just clean it up a little bit. But yeah, I got a little bit of uh, snow on them, but it's got the nice buckle on there. It's got the zipper that just zips to there and goes all the way up. And it's got the opening in the back, love them. And they were perfect to match with this belt. Always love to wear it with this belt. I think it looks so great together. And it's got a little heel on it. It's like, almost like a cowboy boot, but not, you know, just super cute and super adorable. And I got that from Deal Smart. And then another piece my mom got me for Christmas um, is a purse. She also got me a bag. And I believe this also was from um, Burlington Co. Factory, I believe. And it's just called X's and O's is the brand. And it's got it all over it. And look, at it's got the cream and it's got the brown, and it's got the darker brown. So I thought this would work perfect, and I could use the purse I got for Christmas with this outfit. Isn't that adorable together? It looks so great together. I love it. I was excited to use it. <clears throat> Excuse me again. Um, I was looking through my purses. I have a Coach, I have a Derny and Burke, and then I saw this one, and I went, oh, I just got this for Christmas, and it goes great with this, so I'm going to wear the X's and O's, the hugs and kisses. And my mom, like I said, got this from, I believe, Burlington. I'll have to ask her. I'll list it down below, but I believe that's where she got all my pieces, the earrings and all that. But it may have been um, Sears or Kohl's. She goes to all those places, too, so I'll have to ask her. But a perfect little bag. Uh, you know, it does go over the shoulder, but it's just got the short little handles on it and all of those X's and O's. Um, it's got some, no hardware on the bottom, just flat like that on the bottom, but it's got some hardware with the buckles and stuff there, like that and everything, and it's just so cute. And just the one bag, just the one opening, and it's got one zipper on the inside there, and then it just shuts closed with a, you know, just the, the magnetic claps, clasp. So I love it, and it went so perfect with this outfit today. So cute, I got to use it again. Now, I believe that's all the pieces I got, except for she got me one more thing, a crop top um, of The Simpsons. It was really cute. It's a t-shirt, a crop top uh, with the, the Simpsons sitting on the couch, I believe, and it's done in like a teal. It's really cute. Maybe you'll see it in one of my videos one day when I'm doing like a food video for you guys. Uh, not really, probably one I'd wear as, as an outfit of the day, um, but it's super cute and I love it. But that's all the stuff I got for Christmas for my mom, the earrings, and you know, two more pieces that I, <clears throat> excuse me, I got from her was the earrings and the purse. She's got great taste, doesn't she, you guys? You got to see that necklace I wore uh, when I wore the all black and white, and then you got to see the one when I did the cheetah, and then um, now you get to see the earrings that she got, and then the purse, and then I'll do the Simpson one in a video one day when I'm doing a food video, so you get to see that. But that's that. That is the complete look that I did today, this casual, classy, casual classy look and I had a lot of fun. I hope you guys are enjoying my channel. If you are new to the channel, go ahead right there and hit that big red subscribe button and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so you're notified of all of my uploads, especially since I teach keto. I want to be able to help as many people as I can and grow in the year 2020 here and also share my channel, which will help me to grow and I can help many people get their life back since I was taught professionally and I've had so much you know, success and I completely forgot. I've been doing this this um, March, I believe it is. This March will be uh, three years maintenance for me because I started back in 2015. It took me 15 months to lose the weight. So in 2017 is when I got the weight off. Uh, completely would have been like in February or March, I believe it was, and then been maintaining with an exception of a few times I lost a little bit more weight because I was maintaining around the 139 mark and I wanted to get into the 120s. And I ranged between the 120 and one. One like 125 to 135. I range right in there. So, but yeah, with the exception of that, other than that, I've been maintaining for almost three years. I keep telling everybody almost two years, but it's been almost three years. So um, if you need help, I do list my email down below. I'd love to help you if you need extra help. Um, and also, you know, if you don't understand keto, watch my videos. I explain a lot in them, but if you need the extra help, like I said, and you just want to get on board right away and don't have time to watch a lot of videos, go ahead and shoot me an email and I'll, you know, teach you macros and help you get set up. I've helped a lot of people get their life back and I want to help you too. And if you enjoyed this cute, classy, casual outfit of the day for Fashion Friday, shoot me a thumbs up. Now, 
Everybody take care. God bless. And I will see each and every one of you in my very next upload. And I do apologize that I haven't loaded seven days a week like I was. I've just been busy. Again, my father's in the hospital. Prayers, please, to him. His foot's bad again. He's having some trouble with some boils again. We don't want this to turn gangrene again. He's had a couple surgeries again. So please send some prayers our way. Um, but I've just been extremely busy and haven't been able to load seven days a week. But I'm doing the best I can, okay? I will get back to everything, I promise. I do got some good videos coming up on autophagy and fasting and all the wonderful benefits of keto because that is when you fast too, you're in ketosis. All right, I love all of you guys very much. God bless and take care. Now, let's get on to this casual, cute, classy outfit of the day.